Welcome to another edition of the Linux Man Cave and today I'm going to show you how to mount a Samba file share across the network and make it a folder on your machine. First let's take a look for a folder that we're going to mount. I believe I have one called Movies here and there's nothing in it right now. It's blank. That's a good thing. We are going to use a utility to locate Samba file shares on the network. And that utility is SMB tree. It will ask you for your password. It will go out and search the network. So I have a server with a share called movies on it right now. And it's a Samba share. You can tell because there are backslash backslash marks. Um, and of course we used SMB tree, so that's kind of a dead giveaway. It is a Samba share. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to locate the IP address for the server. So I will ping server and it's 10.0.0.1. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually mount that file system by modifying our fstab. So we'll go ahead and clear the screen here and we'll do a sudo nano etc fs tab file system tab it will ask us for the password. Now inside your file system tab you will have um, you will have mounting points for your root, your home drive if you have a separate home drive, and I like to put notes on everything so I'm going to call this Samba File Share uh, Movies. And now that we know the IP address of our server, which is 10.0.0.1, we're going to add a line for that. And in the FS tab, we're going to use forward slashes for this Samba share. So we're going to do 10.0.0.1. And then the name of the share that we are accessing, which is going to be movies. So this is the first part of a line in the FS tab. There's actually six parts. The first part is the device you're connecting to. The second part is where you're going to mount it at. And we're going to mount it at the Home Chris Movies folder. The third part is the type of file system you're going to be using. We're going to be using the SIFS file type and then any information that we need to give SIFS in order to log into the Movies share. And unfortunately I have to give it a username and password. So username equals HTPC and then password equals HTPC. So I did put a comma in between these two selections. And then the next tab is going to be, it's actually reserved for local hardware on the machine. This is actually called the dump modifier. Whether or not the OS should dump any information during a crash from that device into a file. So we're going to tell it no because this is not a local device. And our last tab, which is number six, is when the machine boots up and the hardware detects that there is an error on this device, should we run a file system check? And we're going to tell it no, we don't want a file system check either because this is a remote device. Hit the enter key and we're back to the next line. Now we can go ahead and save this file. And now uh, we need to install some software. So we need to install SIFS support. So sudo apt get install uh, smbfs. This should add everything that we need for SIFS support. So it's going to add the SIFS utils, the key utils, and it's also going to add the Samba file system type. So it does its magic installs its packages and we're back to the command line. <coughs> At this point you can now as root do a do a mount dash a or you can do a sudo mount dash a and we didn't get any errors so our file system should now be mounted. We can take a look at that when we type mount we can see that we now have a Samba share mounted. We can come over here and go into our movies folder and we should now see some directories. Well, there's a DVD, an HD, and a TV. So if we go into the DVD folder 
we should see one of my favorite DVDs of all time. Strange Brew. Well, that's it for this quick little lesson on Samba file shares and how to mount them to your Linux machine. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you do comment and subscribe. And also check out the Linux Distro Community at www.linuxdistrocommunity.com. Thanks for watching.